Hello everyone, Garnet here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on the Center. Just over here hatching up a couple eggs from the Quetzals that we tamed last time, hoping to get the perfect female all tamed up. Uh, between episodes, I spent a good eight hours running around doing nothing but collecting loot drops. I was able to get over 30 drops checked, and uh, after a while I ended up deciding to try and focus on just fighting creatures in the snow cave to get a bunch of treasure maps. Uh, after checking all four of those, I ended up not getting what we were after, and uh, I was able to find a pre-made saddle for the aloes, so I do have one out of the 18 or 19 that we're hoping to get, and I did find a pre-made saddle for the Uteranus, which will be very helpful considering we really only need the one of these creatures. The only concern is that if it does end up dying, then we won't have another one to work with. But uh, fingers crossed, by the time I find the blueprints that we're after, I might find one for them too. Still no sign of finding anything for the Rexes or the Spinos, by the way, despite all the drops that I grabbed. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully I'll find something in one of these uh, days to come. But... As for what I'm planning on doing today, while we're waiting for that to happen, and I'll keep an eye out for drops as we go, but there are a couple creatures that I've still been meaning to tame that I haven't gotten around to doing so. Uh, some of which is I do want the breed pair for our giant squid, but also I've been missing out on the Diplocolis. I've been wanting to tame a couple of those, and maybe we'll go and do that today, and we'll take that out into the ocean and see if we can find ourselves a giant squid while we're out there. I'm going to need another turtle bread up and everything for that as well, but uh, I think I was able to find a better saddle for them in all the stuff that I looked for, so we may, be, uh, we may have a little bit of a smoother journey with that here today. To kind of show you a good handful of the things that I got while I was out there, here is a vault that I made, just because I was running out of space in all of my other stuff. I did find a blueprint for a long neck, long neck rifle, which is really cool. I don't know if it even got the best boost, if it would be higher than this one, but it's good to have this as an option, because I don't think I had that before. Uh, I found a pretty good shotgun here, actually like the, the pump action instead of just the standard shotgun, which is nice. It really wanted to give me a bunch of fabricated pistols and stuff, but I don't know what the deal is with that. But here's that slightly better turtle saddle I was talking about. did find another Dunkley one as well, but uh, yeah, it's crazy just how uh, how much they don't want to give me the ones I'm after. Uh, I know I had another turtle left over from the last time I went out to the ocean. Let's see. Carbo Nemus. Squid Tank 2. I think she did have more. Yeah, she did. She had more uh, health than the last one did. Let's double check on her real quick. Oops. Just to make sure everything's good. See if this... Uh, yeah, this saddle's better. We'll swap this in for a little bit uh, cleaner squid taming. We do I'll go and do that. Thank you so much. We'll just place it back in here. That should be totally fine for uh, what we're after there. Since the first goal, though, or the Diplocalus, I should probably grab some more darts that will knock them out. I'll have to go out into the swamp and hunt them down. I don't imagine that they'll take too much for uh, for kibbles and stuff to tame. And they won't take too many darts to knock out, considering a rifle and everything. I probably should bring a little trap to put them in, though. Considering how everything wants to eat those Diplocalus in the swamp, they're not very... Uh, they're not good at surviving, is kind of a problem. So I kind of have to put them somewhere so I can actually... Um, keep them safe. I'm just going to make up a quick little trap spot for them. Something that I can pick them up with in the RG and just plop them on down so we'll have an easy way to keep them safe. Uh, I'm going to grab, so there's the one foundation, but I also want to kind of keep them safer. Eh, screw it. Yeah, let's, grab, let's bring all these. We are quite weighed down, but that's totally fine. I'm going to put her in here for the time being, as well as that was the uh, original male Euteranus. I've got two cryopods, so I should be able to bring them back once we find a mate pair of these guys. I'm still quite weighed down because of all the uh, structures that I grabbed, but, you know, it is what it is. should probably check on those Quetzals over here before I go anywhere. <laughs> totally forgot to even actually do that. So we're looking for 247. We got a 249 already? 
We have one that's mutated with the perfect stats. Oh my goodness. Uh, there is another 247 right here, and that is a male also. All right. Ah, oh, it's the food. That's that's unfortunate. Never mind. Maybe I should just keep this one as the original perfect meal with all the stats. I, I think I'll do that, <laughs> considering I accidentally imprinted on and uh, started flying around on the one I got yes on the last episode. Okay, so we'll leave this guy here for the time being. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna turn on the. Uh, Oh, we raptor over here just to kind of pick up the eggs that I I totally forgot to turn this back on. We'll kind of throw these eggs back down. Oops, what else did I just throw? Cryopod. Don't want to lose that. All right, back to the roof. Gonna head on out. So I did also actually tame another over raptor as I mentioned I would, just so that I can keep the eye on the Quetzals up here, and I'll just kind of have them be in the tower with our uh, all of our flyers, and we'll have them be the one we grab stuff from. Can I pick up a Diplocolis on a, on an, hmm, I know you can pick him up for sure on an Argentavis, but can you pick him up on a Tapihara? I'm curious. It says that they can pick him up. Let's go and take a look on Terra. I think that that'll be a lot better than trying to fly around on the RG. We are still kind of, hey, like way down a little bit, but it's okay. We'll find a spot to put this trap down so we'll be able to uh, stop it from getting eaten can't really help that they're like little swamp treats for everything else over there, especially now that the Dinosuchus exists. That's another idea of what I could try to tame as well if we end up seeing a high-level female of those in here too. Okay, so we've officially made it to the edge of the swamp. I think I'm gonna actually build the trap over here, or at least the, the safe pen. Maybe since I'm literally using one foundation, I can just build it up here. Well, let me do that. I wonder. Oh yeah, it'll let me do that. It's gonna look insane, but it'll let me do it. Perfect. Okay, there we are. Safe spot for the Diplocolis, all built up. Now we just gotta find some. That is a. Gr those are some great colors on that trike. One forty-five as well. It's a male. Oh man. Trisha may have finally found herself a man. <laughs> Maybe in a minute. First things first, Diplocolis. I just want to make sure we can actually find one. Someone that they have not already eaten. I just got jump scared by that, and I don't know why, because it's right in front of my face. <laughs> I should already have seen it. I was not paying attention. The 75, okay. Is that going to eat the trike? Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if they go for the trikes by default. Maybe they will. Dinosuchus' bites are gigantic and very strong. Just trying to find kind of something smaller that's kind of skittering across the top of the water. They don't actually they're not actually above it, but they kind of they're quite fast. Especially in the water, of course. Just gonna kind of skirt along the top myself. Oh, that's a Capro. That just tried to get me. Evil Capro. Hello, Dinosuchus. That's what we're after. Let's actually confirm that I can pick them up. Answer is yes. Oh my god, and it's a 145. Okay. I love that. I love that that's what I just happened to grab. We just gotta get this guy into our safe zone. And we'll come over and knock him out from the back of the Quetzal, just because we'll have a flat platform to f hover on. I just don't want to accidentally bump into anything on the way there, so I don't drop this guy. A male 145 with only the test grab. Uh, I love the levels on the center. <laughs> These are so awesome. So let's get this guy in here. I forgot to grab kibbles and stuff, too, or even check, so... We'll be able to go and grab that while we go grab the Quetzal. So after a quick search on Dodo decks, these guys take at least a 145. We'll take four of the green kibble, which I only have two at the moment. I probably... I'll just make a couple more. No reason to use the higher tier tibble if, uh, kibble if I don't need to. We'll make six, just in case I find it a mate there as well. 
And coincidentally, it says that a 500% damage rifle will only take one shocking dart to knock it out. So I really don't need any more of these that I already have. I'll hold on to a few more just in case. Ooh, is this guy doing okay? Yeah, he's doing okay. I was worried he was going to die of starvation. And six. Just going to double check that it didn't get out of there somehow. You know, the weird thing about some of these is you get it, get it out of render distance and uh, decides to just no longer be there. Is our guy still in the trap? Yep, looks like he is. Looks like he hasn't moved at all. He's literally just sitting there in the very center of the uh, the trap I built. I well, we can't really call it a trap as much as just a safe zone. So here is the reason that I specifically wanted to come up here with my uh, Quetzal. And he should be out. Yeah? Yep. He just walk down on his wing. 5,000 oxygen? I feel like that'll be very nice to have. So let's give you four of these, and I'll bring you guys back once I have this one tamed. Or, you know what? Actually, what I'll do is we'll scout out a little bit more while I'm up here. See if I can find a high-level female also. Can I just get on your back from your wing? Maybe. Unless I do this. Here we go. I'm dehydrated. I need to get some water. Well, that's doable. Why aren't you going... There we go. Alright. I'm going to scout out a little bit more from the sky and see if we can find ourselves a high-level female also while he's taming up. Because it shouldn't take too long for that to happen either. But I do need some water, so I guess I'm going to go land over here real quick. Might be a little harder to find... Some one of these on purpose for a higher level, but uh, I guess it kind of does stand to reason if they are alive, they're probably a higher level because they haven't been just eaten in one bite by something. I'm seeing a lot of beavers and frogs over here. The thing about the Tapihara is it was much faster when it came to getting to something. Ooh, you got some blue on your face. Only level 20 though, dang. Let's see. Any other Diplocolis within view? At all? So many Dinosuchuses now. Crazy that at one point I only really found like the two. You can just hear them everywhere you go out here now. That jaw snap is so quick to uh, make me nervous. A 145 female berry, of course. We already found one of you. But I like your colors better. <laughs> Probably would have wanted to go down on something a little bit smaller to find this guy. I guess this this gal. We're looking for a female now, don't forget that. Ooh, there's one right there. The level 60 female. Yeah, that's not that's not what we're doing. You're missing about 90 levels there. There's another one out in the water, I think. No, that's a berry. Never mind. Okay, we're going to swap to bullets. Make sure that we take care of any one of these that are not high enough level for us. Boop! Enjoy. Ooh, I like your colors, Dimorphodon. Of course you're only level 20, though. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's a male. Dang. There are so many Dinosuchuses now. A ridiculous amount. I think I should be good without narcotics on that guy, by the way. We're already at the one feed, and it's past where the uh, Torpor Drain is at, so I think I should be fine. Oh yeah, we're totally fine. He just had a second one. No worries there at all. Gosh, man, everywhere I go, I'm just hearing these snaps. These jaw snaps. Powerful, dangerous Capra. I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking at right here. Is that... Did that say female 135? Oh, it's just 35. No! <laughs> you tricked me! You tricked me. 
Alright. That's okay. At least I didn't try to take it all the way over there and have it not be uh, what we're trying to do. I couldn't even tell for a minute that it was actually a Diplocolis in the water. I'm just gonna hang up here for a minute. Kind of take in the rain for the Diplocolis to uh, tame up. Hey! Your name is Dipper. And I shall put you in a cryopod for your safety. Thank you. And now... We've got to find a female for this guy. Officially. Can I just climb on from... No, I can't. I can just do this, though. Unless you don't let me. Game, be consistent, please. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck in here again. And yet he almost just threw me out of here. There we go. That's what we wanted. Let's go south now. Maybe there was a female kind of where we found this one initially. Oh, jeez. We got ourselves another Dinosuchus. Oh, hello. 85 female. Oh, man. That thing must be after me because it started playing battle music. Oh, wow. This one survived. Whoa, you hit me from there. Ow. That's not cool, dude. You gonna finish off that Diplo, though, for me? Thanks. God. I don't appreciate that. Wait, does that only hurt me when I'm moving? That's weird. And if that is the case, also new information for me. And now there seems to be nothing over here. It's weird. Going from a place that seems like it's a little bit overly populated to one that has nothing is kind of crazy. Here's a big open area. Are we going to be lucky here? There's one right there. Hello. Oh, where'd it go? No, it's going to be eaten. It was like pink. Oh, is that it right there? I don't know what level it is, but if I can grab it and save it from its death, from all of these giant crocs, then I will take it. Well, you know what I mean by I'll take it. I won't take it unless it's high level. I think we might be... I think it might have gotten away from me. Oh, actually, there's one right down here. Come on, let's see what this is. Please tell me it was worth these trouble. I did not grab it. Oh no! There it is. Up! <laughs> did I grab it? I don't know if I grabbed it. I don't think I did. Oh no! I should probably be trying to check what level it is, but I just kind of want to get it away from the, uh... The Dinosuchus. Those are Dillos there. I don't want to feed it to the Dillos. I really want to know what level it is. Maybe if I... I can't do that. Man. I don't want to take it all the way back to the trap, in case it turns out to be, like, a level 5. Okay, moment of truth. What level are you? Let's hop... Let's plop you on down. Hope you don't just jump off the side of the cliff there. Hello? Is it still right here somewhere? Oh yes, right there. What level are you? Oh my god. <laughs> you can't you can't write this. You just can't. It I Oh my god. It literally was a level 5. I cannot believe that I literally called it. That's not the kind of calling it that I wanted to have, by the way. That's the opposite of a good time. Well, it's obviously too dark for me to really keep up this hunt. I think I gotta head back for now. I actually need to stop and get some stamina anyway. Look, another Quetzal. 20. That's more like what I normally run into. I figured I would actually just gamma up and keep an eye out. There's no need to go back to the base. I have been there quite a bit lately. Just gotta keep ourselves out here and moving, I think. That's just a Sarko. 135. 
Not bad, not bad. I think, yeah, like I said, it's a female Sarko that we're after. That sounded like one of those things. Hello? Ah! Okay, that's a Dillo. I'm pretty sure that's what I grabbed, right? Yeah. I could have sworn I just heard one of those things in there. It was the same noise I heard when I shot. When I tamed. Hello. What are you? You look very, very bloody. We're pretty close to the trap. I could probably just drop it in there, but if it's not what we want... I guess it w I wouldn't have to worry about it. Uh, let's go do that. Let's go drop it off in there. Then we'll check what level this thing is. All right. Let's see if we were. Oops. Well, I missed. I missed the, the trap. That's okay. We'll just check anyway. It didn't run off, did it? Still there? Cool. And what are you? An 85 male. Dang. Okay. We already have a male, dude. Sorry about that. <laughs> Back to surging. I wouldn't have grabbed that guy if it weren't for the fact that if I don't act fast, they're most likely going to be eaten by something out here. So every Depocolis I hear, I've got to try to grab at. Should have swapped over to the Tapihara again. These guys get in fights with Dimorphodons all the time. Let's not steer by that guy just in case. Ooh, hello! Well, hello indeed, 150 female Diplo. You are coming home with me. I'm going to save you from that Dinosuchus that just about ate you in one bite. Uh, we are really low on stamina. This is a bad time to have found you. Um, can I get to the top of this and not lose you? That's the question. Um, I don't know if I can safely. That's a problem. Kind of look cool looking. Is that orange and blue on the bottom? Nice. All right, 250 stamina still. I don't think I'll make it to our trap, even if we're going slow. So I'm going to have to bring this thing to the surface or to the onto a rock or something, at least for a moment. So hopefully she'll stay right there and we'll jump off the side of the cliff. I think as long as nothing attacks her, we'll be fine. Did they, like, play dead or something? What was that? As soon as she reacted to me, she kind of just stopped moving. We're good, though. Take her to the trap. Now, let's not miss this time. Just gotta get better at our aim at uh, dropping from a Quetzal. And should be good right there. Perfect. Now we just need to swap over to the Trank Darts again. Oop, this one. We'll get there eventually. There we go. I would imagine for 145 and 150, probably take the same amount of darts. Yep, that is a correct guess. Let's just stop here, my Quetzal. Grand. Throw this into here. And I'll bring you guys back when she's tamed too. So we went back and grabbed Terra, which would be a lot easier to get our new Diplocolis friend back home with her. And it'll be a lot faster than trying to travel on the Quetzal also. Should just be any second here that we get that last feed. Morning has hit, and... Tamed. No. Dang. <laughs> I thought I'd maybe be able to do that again. It's crazy that happened the once. Oh, there we go. Your name is Kali. So now we have Dipper and Kali. Very, very unique names. I'm going to take her back home. And then we're going to breed them up. Try to get a uh, good imprinted one. Hopefully we'll have the higher oxygen. Because for this creature, you actually want that stat. Go figure. All right. Well, let's make use of the... Oh my gosh, the Zyphak just got off of the ground. Uh, out of the water. Let's plop her down into this taming pen area. I guess she's just going to follow me back out anyway. Never mind. Alright, so Kali and Dipper here. Amazing. It'd be cool to get the uh, orange and the pink on it. I would really like those colors. 
Anyway, I'm going to take pictures of these guys' stats real quick, see if I can get them combined at some point. But the most important thing, like I was saying on the way over here, is actually the oxygen stat. And he actually got a good boost after the level up, it looks like. Because I know it was 5,000 before taming him, but now it's a 6,600. Which uh, is absolutely crazy. And she is at only 4,000 on that, but we should be good on other things. Good stuff. So we'll get these two into the little pond here, and I'll have them breed as well. As long as they don't get stuck outside the wall. Wall, where are you going, Kali? They don't like going over foundations and stuff, I've noticed. And since there is the fence foundation here, they kind of sometimes avoid it. Maybe I should just pick these up. I don't have anything connected to these two. Oh, less trouble getting stuff in and out. Yeah, that's much better. Except, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Alright, you're stuck in a spot anyway. It's totally fine. So, let's get them breeding real quick. And as long as the first baby has the uh, better oxygen, that should be fine for now. I'll work on trying to get the perfect pair later on. Just gotta make sure those guys get back in the water. And that this guy's still turned on to collect eggs. Fertilize. So it looks like her health is much better. His stamina is better. His oxygen is better. And his weight is better. You really don't have to worry about melee on these guys. They don't really do any of the combat. You'll uh, you'll see what they do here in a minute if you never tamed one of these guys before. But um, we should be pretty good in the stats on these guys. Especially from uh, the difference in the oxygen and the health and stuff. Let's see what stats this one has obtained, and hopefully we got the oxygen, at least. You are exactly the same level as your father. Um, did you get the stamina, or the oxygen? No. <laughs> you got the stamina. You didn't get... Okay, hold on. She can't come out of the water, I don't think, since she's a baby. Uh, stop all. Yeah, we're gonna have to try again on the uh, the breeding here. We'll have to wait a few minutes and then we'll have another shot here. But uh, she did not get the better stats, which is unfortunate. But the good thing you can do if you take from them is you can just take the oxygen and uh, yeah. Oh no! What are you doing? Damn you all! You're not on passive. Okay, take two on the egg. I'll bring you back when this one hatches. Only take three minutes, so it'll be much faster than the last wait. Ooh, a 250? A 250 base level. That has the stamina, and the health, and the oxygen. It has the extra food, which I didn't really care for, but honestly, I, I will gladly take a level 250 base creature, which is also crazy. I didn't mean to export that. Oh well. Um, what should I name you? We'll just name this perfect female for now, because we'll have that going forward for us, which is crazy. Oh, I need oxygen. I have been here for a while. Let's turn these guys off of breeding. I'll get this thing fully imprinted, and we'll kind of take it out to the water, and I'll show you what they can do. What colors did you get, by the way? Orange. Yeah, pretty standard, but the orange is fine. Alright, what does she want for an imprint? Um... I'm not seeing a way to check. I wonder if it's because it's trying to have me take oxygen from it that it's not going to let me check what it wants. Can I come on the, to the, onto the surface now that it's a little bit older? Maybe? E for more options. Um. Huh. I don't know what it wants. I wonder if it wants a walk, or if that's something that can even happen. Can these guys even be imprinted? I think I seem to recall there being a problem with this in Evolved, also. I wonder if I can change its, um... imprint thing with, uh... Of navy. So it refreshed the imprint. Is it actually gonna give me a chance to do anything with it though? 
I don't think so. See if it'll follow me now, though. In the uh, off chance that it decided that it just wants to go for a walk this time. Oh, it actually did want to do that. Okay. Well, even if we can't get a full imprint on this, at least 83 percent's good. I don't know why that was the case. We just lucked out on that or that refresh. Did your oxygen oxygen go up with that, by the way? No, not really. Okay. So it wouldn't be a detriment if we couldn't ever actually uh, imprint on these things next time. <laughs> Little beady eyes. Supposedly it's ready for its second uh, imprint, though. I don't have any way of doing anything other than trying to get him to go for a walk, though. So she's just about all grown up now. I was only able to get the partial imprint because I wasn't lucky for another... Uh, walk prompt considering that thing never cleared but yeah there we go she's fully grown now let's bring her on out over here just kind of get her to follow me real quick oh actually make sure i didn't actually i i got navy that's who i accidentally whistled okay as long as i stopped them in time that's all good so the diplocolis very very handy as you probably saw while i was trying to do other things you can do take oxygen but if you're under the water, you can also do ride. And when you ride on a Diplocolis, they're very speedy. You get the oxygen constantly while you're riding on them. And... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else do you really say? They're very fast creatures. They give you oxygen. If I had my, uh, my goggles and my flippers, we'd be able to just kind of stay underwater for a very long time and kind of scout out stuff wherever we want to go. And that's why I was kind of bringing up the squid earlier. Now, I did actually check the tracker just to see if there actually were any giant squid males around, and it doesn't look like there are right now. So we may have to change our plans just a little bit. But uh, what I want to do is kind of come over here. If you end up getting too close to the surface, you can't ride it anymore and it will kick you off. So you kind of just kind of use that as a quick way to hop off. Uh, you can stop following me, me now. I'm going to go grab my flippers and my goggles so that I have those on me. Oh, come on, Navy. You're right in the way there, dude. Whoa! Okay, well, I guess I uh, meant to jump off the other side. Crazy bird. And I think as a backup, just in case that something potentially goes wrong while we're out in the ocean, I'm going to pick up our Dinosuchus friend in the other cryopod. I'll have him... To come back on in case our Diplo ends up getting lost somehow. Very good. Now I can see a lot better. Get that shot? Yes, it did. Nice. So I think when I did this map the first time around, I actually used a Diplocolis to get down to the artifact in the middle of the ocean. And if I had any need for that right now, I'd go show you how that worked, but... Um, I think I did have a run-in with a Tuzo there on my uh, in Evolved, but this is this is pretty nice. It's nice to have this option here, and like we do have six thousand oxygen to go through before I have any problems. I was very very surprised at how high his oxygen stat was when we found him, but uh, that is grand. Ooh, a berry. Uh, I'm faster than you. <laughs> that was a little bit terrifying. You can't attack. On the back, but they, I don't think they do, like, any damage whatsoever. Like I said, that's not really the point of what these guys do. It's more just trying to be a uh, little water jet. An aqua... I don't know what the actual term is. Like I said earlier on, it's like the one in uh, Subnautica that you use to jet around underneath the ocean. This would definitely be more of, like, an earlier tame for the ocean and everything. But considering I've really been wanting to use these guys, because they are actually pretty underrated, uh, I figured that today would be the day that we tame some. And we were lucky to find a good high-level pair. So we should be able to be down here for a very long time, and I won't have to waste any of my scuba stuff. I'm a little concerned about how they deal with Xyphactinus, considering how fast they are. Looks like we're still faster than them, though. Woo! I was not paying attention. Didn't see the uh, big group of things here. So an 85. Basils would be good too. I've got really good saddles for them. 
But they are a little bit more involved when it comes to taming. More of a passive team and trying to keep all of the mantas off of them as you do it. Wanted to come out this direction, kind of where it's a little bit more open. I don't think... I didn't plan for... I didn't actually like plan ahead for any of this, did I? I should have grabbed some uh, tranquilizer arrows, because I was thinking maybe if I can find a high-level Moza, we can knock out one of those using these guys. Oh, out of stamina. That's not good. Let's go up. That is the other stat that I really wish I would have gotten a little bit more in. But I think we did get the better one out of the two. Yeah, 676. I will only have to be putting staff points into stamina. Maybe health in case we get caught somewhere, but... Stamina is going to be our best friend for this guy. I'm going to turn off the fog, since it is kind of starting to flicker a little bit. I do think it will be a little bit easier for you guys to see what I'm seeing. There we go. Much better. And I can still just bolt down here. Get a real good look around at this depth. So it doesn't look like there's anything right here that's going to try to eat me for a moment. I'm going to kind of make sure our stamina is covered. Dive on down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We do have those guys, which I do have to be a little bit more concerned about. They've already been kind of a pain to me so far. A 15. Maybe some plesios would be fun too. I'm not sure. Let's get to a bit of a uh, shallower depth and I'll kind of show you. So I've got to hop off if I want to fire anything. We'll kind of do this. I've got my flippers and my thing there. Make sure that this one is following me. I set it to follow really low, but it may not do that very well. <laughs> We'll just have to see. But I also have to be careful because I have to make sure... I have to actually go into the radial wheel to select ride. So I have to be a little bit more prepared than just the standard hop on and go. Let's hold on for a minute because he's getting... She's getting a little bit low on stem. Got another level. We'll put that into there as well. I think I might actually be over where the uh, artifact is already. I can see the plants that, uh, that I would need to be going for in order to grab them. Just going to keep an eye out for anything too dangerous, but uh, this may be a really good method for getting down here to grab them, to grab this artifact for some other people. If I hadn't already grabbed three of them myself, I'd grab another one. That does remind me, though, this is where I tamed the squid in general. I don't think there's another one out here right now, but I could be wrong. Something could have definitely taken the place of the one that I tamed. Also, is that drop here, by the way? It is. I should check that. Most of the underwater drops that I've been going for have not been that great, but, uh... Who might have turned down a drop while, while I'm already here? Oh man. See, yeah, why is that... Like, I feel like the underwater drops should be much better than that. That was almost the standard as, uh... Like, something you find in a blue drop on the surface. Not great, man, not great. Ooh, a Moza over there. 115. Dang. I'm going to kind of get away from that at the moment. I know that there were a good amount of Mozas over in that uh, northeastern side of the map. Whoa, there's one right there. A 125, and it's bright green. I like the colors on them. That's for sure. I'm diving all the way down here and everything. We've only used... I want to say that's about a sixth of the overall amount of oxygen this guy, this this thing has. I do think I did luck out on exactly the amount of oxygen that this one had. But uh, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain for a minute, and uh, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. Try to find our uh, metal base out here. Guys, I found a bunch of floating pearls. What? What? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Uh, what am I? What am I? What else would I say about that? I guess. Hello, all of my beautiful fishies and my giant squid. How are you doing today? Let's try to just go up to the surface now. All right. To keep her safe, I'll put her inside of a cryopod. 
We'll probably head over on another creature, but I, uh, I'm glad that we're able to get over here with very little opposition. Let's put on our shoes real quick. But I have run out of time for this episode, so hopefully we'll be able to go down and either tame a male giant squid or a couple of Mosas in the next episode. But if you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have anything to bring up about this series or any other one on the channel, please let me know in the comments below. We do have a Discord, and if you want to help contribute to the Patreon, those links are in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!